Yes, this is CEO Rick. Follow me on Twitter at Maple TV God, and thanks for keeping the vibes live. Yeah, yeah. It's been Terry. What up? A lot of people thought it wouldn't happen, but it did. Unfortunately for you. <laughs> Fortunately for me. All the way to the bank. <laughs> yeah. It's real, as real as it gets. I stay dropping these hits like I'm taking a shit. I'm sitting on top of the world and I can't miss. Melt the glaciers with a piss that's 98.6. And if you suckers never knew before, now you know I'm not idle no more. Your boy's on the go. Continent to continent and coast to coast. Eating meals with my fam and I'm giving a toast. I made it from rock bottom and I'm living proof. I was walking through these streets and now I'm swooping the coop. I'm with my shades on like Ray, I make it do what it do. Vocalize my ways and have you doing it too. Now all your naysayers and haters are looking like fools. See me on TV like I know that dude. Your bitches know how it go when you let go. Straight diamond in the rough, turning cold in the gold. Beats feel it's real. It's real, it ain't gon' stop West Coast, L.A., from block to block East side, west side, yeah, my folks gon' feel me And my people overseas are definitely gon' hear me Pen to the paper, it's like second nature This my art, it's my easel, and I'm the painter And if you're caught up in my words and what I say, I can't blame you Doing every job from top to bottom like I'm a hey mom I said I wouldn't stop until I'm up in the k months. Give my mama that mill in the bank to my grandma Moms walk hard like Ricky Bobby every step I take. B. Terry, the new millennium Dr. Dre, Prince Brian. My title self proclaimed, given to me by God. So, what's in the name? I take my thoughts and I speak them with passion. Mix them with the music so later generations can have them. Beats feel it's real. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Goes. Beats feel is real. Listen to the flows. Beats feel is real. That's how it be. Beats feel is real. Just marinate to the beat. Beats feel is real. And that's how it goes. Beats feel is real. Listen to the flows. Beats feel is real. And that's how it be. Beats feel is real. So marinate to the beat. Beats feel is real.
everyday place to be for free airplay. Robin Lynn, DJ Antron, Queen Cook, Spoodles, Running Down Productions, Little Haze, Not So, Coach Real, all independent artists who join us in the chat room. This song is for us. We go from the floor up. What's up? Oh, it's just another day in the chat room with Robin Lynn. Playing independent artists again, and she doing the gosh darn thing. Play it back, man, yeah. Oh, it's just another day in the chat room. Symphony, EPMD, independent artist, Mr. Bush Food, who's running down productions. Turn up. I get up in the morning, work my nine to five. Hop on my computer, yo, it's five. You want back? You want back? New music, underground, from the ground up That's how we doing it, I got this Vibes, yo, I'll slow it down Yo, I got this Not so, holding it down Rug around, got the thugger, so it's fell Lil Hayes dropping heat from the page Ezra knocking out opponents, holy fail The challenger, bringing 808 scale DJ Antron, 24-7 whistle blown Bringing back the tracks, it's well known Call it Brian Conscious, spitting on the microphone For the chat room, turn it up Oh, it's just another day in the chat room With Robin Lee, playing independent artists again And she doing the gosh darn thing, play it back, man, yeah Oh, it's just another day in the chat room Symphony, EPMD, independent artist Mr. Bush Spoon, who's running down productions Turn up Game day, no exclusive. Spoodles got you going like the ladies popping prove it. Dope song, conversating in the chat room movement. Y'all feeling what we doing? Uh, not to confuse you like a college student. Congruent to our steps to bring the union movement. Uh, baby girl on the hooks, like look what she's doing. Fuzz dog on the beats, get you into it. Hating all promoters, get your ears revving. Independent artists moving close with the stepping. Call it Willie Brown, Florida heat dropping West Coast sound from the ground up. You like how we round up, fight music in the house Movie soundtrack, put it in your film Talk back, guarantee you can't up in the track and verse back We got this like that. Oh, it's just another day in the chat room With Robin Lynn, playing independent artists again And she doing the gosh darn thing, play it back, man, yeah Oh, it's just another day in the chat room Symphony, EPMD, independent artist Mr. Bush Food, who's running down productions Turn up It's all good. Let's go! Shout out to Uncle Rufus. praise on get your praise on everybody give a soul clap get your praise on get your praise on and here's your host the funny man with lots of voices willie brown get a lot of hand praise right now please oh uh, thank you so much i'm so glad you all came out it's awesome uh dj question you good how you how you how do you feel? I mean, this, you know, this is our first time doing this. We're wel- welcoming everybody here to Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. I'm Willie Brown, and you all are my friends. How about that? How y'all feeling? All right, that's good. That's good, DJ. That's good. Cut. This right here need cut. What's up? Your hand and not that. That's what's up. You don't ask. You don't. Ooh, there it is. You wrong, Willie. You wrong. You know where we are? We getting paid, yet I don't care. <laughs> I'm staying. <laughs> you keep making me talk, I'm gonna keep acting like I'm talking. <laughs> all I know is that I had my money after this show, that's all I know. <laughs> Say what, that I had my honorarium after this show, that's all I know. <laughs> Say what, that I had my third diem after this show, that's all I know. <laughs> and what if they don't? I'm gonna turn into Chucky. <laughs> I'm fitting to be y'all friend to the end. Some of y'all ain't gonna make it to the exit, I'm telling you right now. 
Ladies, if your heels are run down, I got you. <laughs> just sit up here. Why you keep touching me? I'm just trying to get you situated. I ain't that kind of guy. I'm already situated. <laughs> no weapon thrown against me shall prosper. I'm more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. <laughs> Good God Almighty. Did you feel that? You keep your lips from moving. We night deal the fool these people. <laughs> Don't talk while I'm talking. You ain't that good. <laughs> you need me. <laughs> what was you doing in the suitcase? Late and exhale. <laughs> you know I got asthma. <clears throat> <clears throat> you don't care about me. <clears throat> I was in a suitcase so long, I thought I was a T.I. on house arrest. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, I don't deserve this. I felt like Daniel in the lion den. Shadrach, Meshach, and a big Negro up in there. <laughs> but how many of y'all know the Lord heard not cry that night? How many of y'all know? <laughs> but he who the Son is set free, yeah, shall be free indeed. Hallelujah! <laughs> Good God Almighty. The Spirit is in the room. Keep moving. Keep praying, I worship, shifting the air. Did you feel that shift right there, sir? Did you see that right there? Curtis, did you feel that shift? Every yoke is destroyed, every chain broken, shifting. Did you see that, Pastor Landers? Did you feel that right there? Did you see that? <laughs> I'm so tired of people getting me confused with Kirk Franklin, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I am not Kirk Franklin, y'all. Stop tripping. I know he's the same size, but I'm not him. <laughs> I love that man. I love him, too. You love him? Yeah, I love him. That man right there, that's the only man I know that can get a Stella Award, ain't got to sing a lick. <laughs> you ain't never heard Kirk sing nothing, have you? Someone asked the question, why? <laughs> Why do we sing? We sing because he pays us. <laughs> we sing because he pays us. And that's the reason why we sing. Someone may be wondering, yes. When we sing our song, at times, at times we may be crying. And nothing's even, something must be wrong. Y'all crying, somebody didn't get paid. <laughs> Y'all like that Joe Osteen? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Uh, Joe, I love Joe Osteen. Yeah, that's my man right there. Cause Joe make you feel good no matter what is going on in your life. You could be losing your arm. You're like, you don't need that arm. <laughs> you still got another arm and two legs. What you worried about that arm for? You could still wave holy hands with that one arm. <laughs> You can still do the right hand of fellowship with that one arm. If you lose your right arm, you got to get the left hand of fellowship. You could be going to jail. Joe, niggas, and niggas, all right, go on in there. You ain't going to be alone. I ain't going to be in there with you. But God going to be in there with you. You could be going to jail for hard labor. So don't you know your labor's not in vain? You could be looking at a life sentence. Don't you know your life is not your own? <laughs> you didn't bought with a prize. I love that name. Any good? Any good? Yeah. All right, y'all. We're going to keep the show going right along. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. I'm so glad that you all came out, and we're going to have a party. You ready to have a Holy Ghost party up in here? Yeah. All right, now. All right, now. Coming to the stage, this brother comes all the way from Columbia, South Carolina. Used to play football for the South Carolina Gamecocks. Very funny guy. Was just on BET. I want you to give it up for my brother from another mother. That's right. You see your brother from another mother. Mm-hmm. That's a tongue twister, ain't it? Put your hands together right now and start clapping. Give it up for my friend, Marty Simpson, y'all. Give it up, Marty Simpson. Come on. Show him some love right there. Come on. Marty Simpson, come on. are white people pointing at when they dance? 
What is the chief purpose of man on earth, if you believe in the Bible? Good class. Absolutely outstanding. That is fantastic. The chief purpose of man is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. Amen? Amen. It is for this reason that white people don't dance in church. What is glorifying God about a building full of white people? But I've been to an all-black church, a Pentecostal all-black church, and everybody's dancing, and ain't nobody doing the same thing. But nobody looks like they're doing anything wrong. The girl in the front with the tambourine is on single time. Dude in the back's on double time. A couple people run by. What? I'm like, Pastor, I need somebody dancing on the beat so I will know where it is. He's like, Marty, just do whatever you do in your church back home. Amen. And I said, I will. I don't know what it is about me. I've just always gotten along with black people. I think it's because I know the code. And here's where I would say to the other white person, pay attention. I'm going to teach you the code to get in along with black people. Here it is, the code. You ready? Now that's it. That's the entire code. Because at this event, I was in the back, and one of the ushers came up to me. Not usher, but an usher came up to me in the back of the room and was like, uh, are you with a group? Have you wandered in? Do you have a ticket? Do you know what you're doing? And I was like, boom. And she's like, all right, you're straight. Die. I go to a church with half black, half white people. Not like each person. But that would be a cool church. We could dance along to the worship and get out on time. <laughs> oh, man. This economy is awful. This economy is terrible. In Columbia, South Carolina, we were driving home from church in our minivan and saw a sign on a pole that said, Lost Dog, $300 reward. And my wife from the passenger seat turned and looked at me and said, Hey, I found us something we can do this afternoon. Then my nine-year-old son from the back is like, yeah, dad, stealing dogs. <laughs> we made 2,400 bucks last week is what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you. I've been Marty Simpson. I love my wife. Thank you. Give it up for Marty Simpson, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, let him hear Marty Simpson. Yeah. Getting older, y'all. Getting older. I just turned uh, 51. Just celebrated my 51st birthday. Thank you very much. Yep. And uh, if you live long enough, you are going to get older. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. That's right. It's a, you might be Nicki Minaj today, but you're going to be Eartha Kitt tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I'm not just messing around with you, black man. <laughs> I want to bring one of the senior saints to the stage. I want y'all to put your hands together and welcome right now. Give it up for my uncle, Uncle Rufus, y'all. Come on. I'm going to do it. Say one, Uncle Rufus. I'm going to do it. What you going to do? I'm going to do the stinky leg. No that's good, that's good. Oh, y'all should have seen me on Dancing with the Stars. Uncle Rufus, you were on Dancing with the Stars. You don't know, you better ask somebody. <laughs> Carrie Ann Donato gave me a 10. What did you give her? Gave her my phone number. <laughs> Christians ain't perfect. That's right. They're just forgiving. Would you agree, Pastor? That's right. 
Why, why, why would you say that? Because I, I was in Biloxi, Mississippi last week. Mm -hmm. I seen some Christians at the casino. <laughs> How you know? I saw the church bus parked out front. <laughs> Uh, Uncle Rufus, huh? what were you doing there? I went in there to get them folks up out of there. <laughs> Messed around and got caught up on the slot machine myself. <laughs> see, that's what sin do to you, see. It wraps his ugly arms around. <laughs> Engulf you. <laughs> Bring you down. <laughs> All I can say is we got faith. Christians, yeah, we got faith. That's right. Well, I know we got faith. Cause we were playing and praying at the same time. <laughs> Lord, if you help me to hit, I swear I'll quit. <laughs> Lord, you let me hit. Double dining, Father. Double dining. <laughs> Give it to me. You say we had not cause we asked. Now I'm asking. Give it to me. <laughs> you got it. All right, Uncle Rufus, let's get, let's, let's, let's get going here. Blackjack, come on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna bring up our next comedian, okay? Y'all ready? Yeah. This is my brother, he, uh, we're, we're part of a group called Four Man and Quest. Four men, four Christ, four comedy, one of the funniest comedians. He's country. Yes, he is, but I love him. You're gonna put your hands together right now. I want y'all to give it up for my man. All right, come on, start clapping. Give it up for St. Vic, y'all, St. Vic, yeah! There it is, there it is right there, there it is. Y'all give it up, boy, get it for Willie Brown and Woody, y'all give it up. Right, all right. Thank y'all, I am so blessed. Right, let me give y'all my testimony real quick, y'all, my testimony. Last Friday night, I just closed on my first house. Y'all gotta give it up for it, give it up, give it up, yes. Yes, yes. It foreclosed on me last night, but God, my God, you play too much, Jesus, you play too much. I'm, I mean, man, serious, man. Y'all ever be over somebody's house and y'all know they got that problem? I'm St. Vic, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Y'all ever be over somebody's house and y'all know they got that problem? Roaches, y'all, roaches, don't be like that, why? <laughs> Come on now, I'm keeping it real tonight, y'all. Why, you go over somebody's house with roaches, you see the roach, they see the roach, but everybody try to act like they don't see the roach. <laughs> then they gonna try to kill the roach when you ain't looking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at my new picture of Jesus right there on the wall right there, that's the my, that's that new Jesus right there with the six pack in the abs. That's him. That's him. I'm saying, y'all, one of my church, I know this may sound funny, but listen here, listen here. One of my church members had, listen here, had some anointed roaches. I know that sound funny, don't it? I know. Came up last night, quoted me some scripture. The roach quoted me some scripture. We were sitting there watching the football game on TV. Roach crawled right on the TV screen. Right on the TV screen. Jumped off the screen, came crawling toward me. I'm looking at the roach, roach looking at me. I looked at it, I picked my foot and I stepped on it as hard as I could. Picked my foot, that roast in the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. <laughs> that roast said, don't mess with me. I go to church every Sunday, higher living, Pastor Landis. Don't mess with me, baby. <laughs> I get the word, baby, I get the word. <laughs> Dude, this stuff is true I'm making up. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, this, I'm just trying to tell y'all the right things and stuff that's going on, you know. I ain't supposed to be tripping, but yeah, I'm, you know, single and everything. And ladies, you know what I'm saying? I, well, single ladies, clap your hand. What single ladies at? Single. <laughs> see, now single ladies, they always got to yell like that. <laughs> but see, they yell like that out in public in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I'm a single woman. I don't need no man. I got Jesus in my life. Don't need no man. That's right. <laughs> Wait to get home by themselves. Why can't I get a man, Lord? <laughs> Why can't I get a man? <laughs> Keisha ain't got but one eye. She got a man, Lord. I can't get a man. <laughs> and one thing I want, you know what I'm saying? What is it nowadays? You see these women, what's wrong with these women snatching bugs? Huh? What's, what's up with that? Y'all see the women snatching bugs? Every time you, you can't have a even co decent conversation because they're snatching bugs. I don't know what you <laughs> talking about. <laughs> what are you snatching at? Ain't no roaches in here. Ain't no, I don't care what, ain't no mosquitoes, what are you snatching at? Quit snatching, you scaring me, stop that. I'm 6'5", don't do that. I'm, that's scary, don't, mm, no, no. Well, laughing is good, y'all gotta laugh, though, laugh, amen. 
Gotta laugh. Get that laugh out right now. Ha <laughs> ha! Get it out. See, some of y'all trying to look cute. Get that laugh out. I'm saying right now, you're gonna laugh either two ways. It's gonna come out. It's gonna come out. It's either gonna come out this way or this way. Get it out. Get it. Get it. Get. It. I see you trying to hold it in. Don't be trying to. Hold it. He's gonna, he gonna get his breakthrough in a minute. Right? I'm comedian Saint Vic, y'all. God bless y'all. Thank you very much. We go to the same psychologist, Neil St. Dick. Where we go when we leave here, Willie? We gotta go down to Miami. I ain't flying. Why not? Planes keep going down. Woody, huh? you ain't gotta worry about that. What? Ain't nothing gonna happen to you unless it's your time to go. My time to go. That's right. What if it ain't my time to go? Yeah. But it's time for the man sitting next to me to go. <laughs> I got to go cause he going? The devil is a lie. <laughs> I ain't going. <laughs> Did you feel that right there, sir? Did you see that? All right, I'm really pleased to bring up this next person. She is like a queen of gospel comedy here. Big sister of mine, made some really big decisions back in the day. Uh, she was uh, all over TV, uh, HBO. She, she was just touring everywhere. When she got saved, she just turned her life around, walked away from $500,000 a year uh, salary. She's a big sister of mine in Christ. She's very funny. Everybody knows her. I want y'all to put your hands together right now and start clapping. Give it up for my sister. <laughs> Miss Shanita Morris, AKA Chocolate, y'all. Give it up for her, come on, show us some love. Come on, yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on. What's up? <laughs> What's going on? To God be the glory, give it up for the Lord, hallelujah. Ain't God good? Look at what the Lord has done. God is incredible. I have to bring my purse on stage. You know, I don't, you know, ain't nothing in it. It's just, you know, and like Willie said, I used to get paid, you know. It used to be coach bags and everything, so now it's just X's and O's, honey, X's and O's. <laughs> Y'all know about them X's and O's, huh, ladies? <laughs> Marshalls and TJ Maxx like a mug, amen? <laughs> oh, but it's good to be here. Praise God. This is so incredible. Thank you, Willie and Woody. You know, I always give props to Woody. You know, I've been single for a long time, so, you know, Woody looked good. I've been single a long time, you know, and I'm divorced, you know, so, you know, I'm, I'm divorced twice, you know. Don't judge me. You know, you tell people you divorce, you know they have mercy on you. You say two times, they looking at you like, oh, it's her fault. <laughs> Something wrong with her. You know, and I'm working on me, I'm working on me, but you don't know my story, so don't judge me, amen? amen. You know, trust me, every biblical reason given for a divorce, trust me, I had it, amen? amen? Amen, you know, the first one was a crackhead and the second one was trying to crack my head. <laughs> and I, I don't think that's funny, personally. I, that's not the funny part, amen? <laughs> but, but the sad part is, you know, being single today, it's, it's really hard today. And it's, it's sad because, you know, we have more means of communicating now than we have ever had before. Yet men have become even more, even worse with your communicating. You are. With your communicating. See what I, see what I mean? <laughs> They don't listen, don't hear nothing. Everybody heard that but him. And you know he's single. <laughs> no, nobody wants you. <laughs> you haven't learned to listen. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna tell you, I've been dating a dude for three months. Don't know what it sound like. Cause all we do is text. Oh, y'all didn't like that one. Well, y'all just don't get it. <laughs> But I'm telling because I'm going to tell you, you know, we're not really seeing each other. You know, I just follow him on Twitter. <laughs> and I'm waiting on him to follow me back. <laughs> you know, then I know the feeling is mutual. <laughs> but it's, it's really hard, though. It's really hard dating because, you know, I know the men realize that it's a man shortage. You know, so, I mean, even the ugly brothers got an attitude. <laughs> what ugly men at? Where y'all at? 
And I don't like to say ugly because I know we are all God's creation. We are all God's art. Amen. Amen. You know, we are all his masterpieces. But, you know, truthfully, some of us are abstract. <laughs> some of us some straight Picassos. Amen. <laughs> Million dollar art. Amen, just hard to look at. You just kind of got to figure it out. <laughs> but they the ones that's got an attitude. You know, they making demands on what they want in a woman. You know, she got to have pretty feet. You're like, boy, have you looked in the mirror? <laughs> Looking like the predator. <laughs> you can't even close your mouth, your teeth so big. <laughs> Who is your daddy, Jaws? <laughs> you are the reason people still believe in evolution. <laughs> Some of y'all will get that on the way home. <laughs> this side seem a little slow over here. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to explain it to him. Amen. <laughs> now, ugly brothers is tripping. They are. And I'm going to tell you, you ever been broke up with ladies by an ugly man? That is the worst feeling in the world, ain't it? And you'll be like, what you mean it's over? <laughs> I was doing you a favor. <laughs> it ain't over till I say it's over. And I am telling you, <laughs> you ain't breaking up with me. As you know, ugly man break up with you. Your reputation is shot. Don't nobody want you after that. <laughs> but it's hard. And you know what, ladies, you know, as a single woman, I realize that a lot of times, you know, and especially being in church, because people, we so holy, and it, to God be the glory, you know. But when, when married folks and, you know, people want to give you advice, they always just, everybody's so spiritual, you know. Make sure you praying for a spiritual man. You know, and it sounds so good. It do. It sounds so holy. But I'm going to go another further. <laughs> you better specify what spirit. <laughs> Mess around and get the spirit of Ike Turner up in your house. Spirit of RuPaul <laughs> be looking for your clothes. Be like, where's my red dress? I got it on. We sharing this one. <laughs> but a lot of times as single people, you know, ladies, we love, we, we love to pray for a man of God. But we forget to prepare. Because we got to have our stuff together too, Amen. You do, because a lot of ladies, you know, a lot of times, you know, we, we want so desperately to be in a relationship, you know, but we're not preparing for that man. And ladies, before you go on these dates, you got to make sure that you fast and you pray before you go on these dates. You pray so you can hear from heaven and know whether or not he is from God. So you don't waste his time and he don't waste yours. You fast so that when you go on that date, you don't have gas. <laughs> Now that's serious, that's serious. There's nothing worse than being on a date with a wonderful man of God and your stomach is toe up. <laughs> and I know some of y'all so holy you don't think we should be talking about gas, but let me tell you something, we serve an awesome God. <laughs> Who knew, he knows all things, so he knew that in this day and age with our diet, we was gonna have gas. <laughs> And I praise him for his word that says, I will always make a way for your escape. Because <laughs> so I'm going to tell you, let me tell you something. You get on that date, you know, and I'm going to tell you, it's nothing worse than being on a date with a man of God and your stomach is, there's nothing you can do about it. Your stomach bubbling, you know, you got so much gas, you got a, you know, a lump at the top of your head. But now gas can be beneficial on a date. Say you get on this date and realize he is not from God. <laughs> you don't even care, do you? <laughs> you just let it go, don't you? <laughs> He'd be like, what's that smell? That's me. I got a little bit of gas. I'm gonna be letting it go from time to time. If you can't take it, you need to take me home. <laughs> Thank you so much. To God be all glory. I'm Shanita Morris.
Y'all give it up for my sister, Shanita Morris. Come on. Y'all having a good time so far? Yeah. That's right. All right. Good. We're going to keep it going here. The next uh, gentleman, a very good friend of mine, and uh, he came all the way from Brooklyn, New York. He's one of the best at what he does. I'm not going to tell you. I want y'all to put your hands together right now. Start clapping and give it up for the artistry of Mr. Marty Grace, y'all. Marty Grace, come on. Uh. It's the Holy Ghost rock, 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 rock. Come on, it's the Holy Ghost rock, 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 rock. Hey, come on, it's the Holy Ghost rock, 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 rock. rock, rock. Because ain't no dance like a Holy Ghost dance. Cause the Holy Ghost make you wanna dance. Hello. My name is Marty. I'm the MC that rocks the Holy Ghost party. That's right, I'm back again. The devil can't stop what God made the win. Come on, y'all. Loosen up, let the Holy Ghost move. Get caught up in the spirit while we dance to this groove. Come on, let's have a little fun and give God praise with this dance as one. Okay, now let you see how we do. All the comedians that came up on stage, let's give it up. Marty Simpson, y'all. Marty Simpson, come on. St. Vic, St. Vic, come on. Yeah. And my sister, Shanita Morris, yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gospel comedy Coming to you from a studio located somewhere in Atlanta, Georgia. It's time for Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. It's all good. Let's go. Shout out to Uncle Rufus. Get your praise on, get your praise on, everybody give a soul clap, get your praise on, get your praise on. And here's your host, the funny man with lots of voices, Willie Brown. Hey, what's up family, it's your boy Willie Brown, coming back to you again from Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live, and you can tell that I'm excited. That's right, I'm excited because we've been getting letters and calls about our television show. People are watching Gospel Comedy Live all over the world. So we want you to continue to support what we're doing, this ministry to bring clean and wholesome family comedy to you and your family. That's right. And you can do it by simply booking some of our comedians for your events. That's right. Bring our comedians to your church, to your leadership conference, to your gospel festival. You can book our tour or you can purchase some of our merchandise. We got a brand new t-shirt, Gospel Comedy Live, all right? Comes in all different sizes. Make sure you get one of these, okay? Also, you can get our new DVD. Oh yeah, that's right, we have a DVD for every episode that we've shot. And this DVD will show our show in its entirety. That's right, you only are able to watch a certain amount on television because we're due, due to time restrictions. But on our DVD, you can watch the whole entire show, even portions that were cut out. So make sure you go to the site, get a t-shirt, get a DVD, Order some other memorabilia. You know, support our ministry. Or you can just simply click on the donation button. Go to cleancomedyclinic.com and press donate. Okay? That's right. We can't stay on the air unless you help us. Or you can send us a letter or donation to P.O. Box 998, McDonough, Georgia, 30253. That's right. That's the Clean Comedy Clinic. P.O. Box 998, McDonough, Georgia, 30253. Now let's get to the good part. Behind every good man, there's a good woman. And so what we've done, we've taken all the women who appeared on our show, and we put them together for you on one episode. That's right. So we want you to sit back and enjoy the women of Willie Brown and Friends, Gospel Comedy Live. Gospel Comedy How you doing, Auntie? You know, I don't start no one, D none. You, you know, you, if you was a not nephew, but you D not husband, say what? Because you is one fine man. All the way from the top of your head. <laughs> he got a big head, y'all. <laughs> All the way down to the precious soles of your feet. Good God, I'm not. Look at them feet, y'all. Is they legal? Of course they're legal. Ooh, you know what they say that a man that got big feet. Know what? It don't take a long to walk to the ATM machine. Halakathasa, <laughs> the lasagna. Oh, rigatoni, rather the old and greeny. 
Catarone, this Verone, Tortellini. I'll tell you what you've been up to. Well, you know, I'm back on the dating scene. Already? You sound surprised. I am. I mean, I heard Unc just passed away not too long ago. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. It was the absolute worst day of my life. I thought I'd never, ever get over it. Oh, well, life, life goes on. Thank God for that insurance policy. You had coverage like a good neighbor, baby. <laughs> State Farm was there. Oh, they were there, David, they were there. Sounded like he was a good man. He was a wonderful man. He was a marvelous man. He was a, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Yes, he is. They don't make him like that no more. Oh, no? No. These men nowadays, some of them don't care about you. They just go on and die and leave you by yourself. I like to date young men. Young men? Yeah, but I take an old man with benefits any day. Them young men is cute, but they ain't got nothing but big ideas. I need a man with major medical, dental, vision, liposuction, and breast reduction. If I wasn't mistaken, Auntie, I think that you was a cougar. No, I'm a jaguar, baby. Now, I've been single a long time, you know, and I'm divorced, you know, so, you know, I'm, I'm divorced twice, you know. Don't judge me. <laughs> you know, you tell people you divorced, you know, they have mercy on you. You say two times, they looking at you like, oh, it's her fault. <laughs> Something wrong with her. You know, and I'm working on me, I'm working on me, but you don't know my story, so don't judge me, amen? You know, trust me, every biblical reason given for a divorce, trust me, I had it, amen? Amen, you know, the first one was a crackhead and the second one was trying to crack my head. And I, I don't think that's funny, personally. I, that's not the funny part, amen? But, but the sad part is, you know, being single today, it's, it's really hard today. And it's, it's sad because, you know, we have more means of communicating now than we have ever had before. Yet men have become even more, even worse with your communicating. You are. With your communicating. See what I, see what I mean? <laughs> they don't listen. Don't hear nothing. Everybody heard that but him. And you know he's single. <laughs> no, nobody wants you. <laughs> you haven't learned to listen. <laughs> but a lot of times as single people, you know, ladies, we love, we, we love to pray for a man of God. But we forget to prepare. Because we got to have our stuff together too, Amen. You do, because a lot of ladies, you know, a lot of times, you know, we, we want so desperately to be in a relationship, you know, but we're not preparing for that man. And ladies, before you go on these dates, you got to make sure that you fast and you pray before you go on these dates. You pray so you can hear from heaven and know whether or not he is from God. So you don't waste his time and he don't waste yours. You fast so that when you go on that date, you don't have gas. Now that's serious, that's serious. There's nothing worse than being on a date with a wonderful man of God and your stomach is toe up. <laughs> and I know some of y'all so holy you don't think we should be talking about gas, but let me tell you something, we serve an awesome God. <laughs> Who knew, he knows all things, so he knew that in this day and age with our diet, we was gonna have gas. And I praise him for his word that says, I will always make a way for your escape. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you, let me tell you something. You get on that date, you know, and I'm going to tell you, it's nothing worse than being on a date with a man of God and your stomach is, there's nothing you can do about it. Your stomach bubbling, you know, you got so much gas, you got a, you know, a lump at the top of your head. But now gas can be beneficial on a date. Say you get on this date and realize he is not from God. <laughs> you, 
You don't even care, do you? <laughs> you just let it go, don't you? <laughs> he be like, what's that smell? That's me. I got a little bit of gas, I'm gonna be letting it go from time to time. If you can't take it, you need to take me home. <laughs> Ladies, make some noise, ladies! Yeah, 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 ladies. You know, you know we like to look good, right, ladies? You know, we, we gotta look good, you know, even when it come down to our heels. Am I right, ladies? You know we like to wear some bad heels, right, ladies? And you know those heels will tear your feet up, won't they? You know, you walk around cute at the beginning of the day. You know, you walk around like this. Oh, hey, girl, all right, hey. And by the end of the day, you walk around like this. Oh, God. oh, Lord. You know, we got to read the Bible, ladies, because the Bible says, look to the hills from us cometh your help. We're not looking at the right hills, ladies. We're not looking at the right hills, eh? Yes. You know, we like to look good even when it comes down to our eyebrows, you know? Some of us draw them on. And it's all right if you draw them on. It's all right. I, the makeup artist back there just do, she drew mine on right quick, you know? It's all right. But if you are going to draw them on, I'm gonna need you to remember that you drew them on. Cause when you start to sweat, you just can't wipe your face any kind of way. You can't do it. You came in with two, you left out with one. That's messing up people of God up, it's messing it up, you know. Just talking about ladies just a little bit, you know, they got this thing out called the body magic, you know. Made things the whole, you know, it's made the whole things in, right ladies? Hold things together, am I right? You know, I could tell in church who had one on, I could tell. Because before the body magic, you know, they'd be in church shouting like this, ooh, glory to God, hallelujah, yeah, hallelujah, glory to God. And when they got the body magic, they started shouting like this. I said, she got one on, she got one on. Somebody didn't laugh at that joke because they wearing one right now, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. But yeah, just a little bit about me. Um, I grew up in church pretty much all my life, and pretty much all my life I grew up in church. <laughs> yeah, and one of the things that I love about church, I love the choirs. Do I have any choir members in here? Any choir members? Okay, yeah. I'm getting ready to talk about you, yes I am. <laughs> now listen, this is my opinion, my opinion. But I believe every choir just have some people, they, they just stand out. In every choir, there's just some choir members that just stand out. And I'm gonna name these choir members. And if you happen to know one, just wave your hand. And if you happen to be one, just put your head down and hope nobody see you. Here we go, choir member number one is rhythmly challenged. The choir is going one way while they are going the other. You are standing out. Choir member number two never gets the memo of what the choir is supposed to wear. <laughs> you know they say, choir, we want you to wear a white top and a black bottom. But you see somebody up there with a dress with flowers on it and sequins around it, you're standing out. You're standing out. Choir member number three always get happy in the middle of the song. <laughs> you know how they do it. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the cool. <gasps> you standing out. You standing out. This next choir member, she was supposed to be an opera singer, but she didn't know it. She didn't know it. So while the choir was singing like this, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. You got that choir member singing like this. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. You stand it out. Gospel <laughs> 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 comma.
there, comedy fans. If you love clean, wholesome family comedy and would like to bring the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour to your city, call us now at 310-663-9228 or visit us at cleancomedyclinic.com. Gospel Comedy, where is that? Gospel Comedy Live Tour packages are now available featuring some of your favorite clean and gospel comedians like Willie Brown and Woody. All right, sit up here. Don't get touching me now. They get the wrong impression. Comedian Joey Aiello. Five years. This is happily married. Five years of happiness right here. It's the benefits of marriage. It's like an ottoman for my arm. And the hilarious Nikita B. Man, your woman see what you don't see before you see it to see if you're going to look at what she just saw. You understand that? If you're looking for comedy that the entire family can enjoy, you've come to the right place. Book the Willie Bright and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour now at your local church or theater. Call 310-663-9228 or visit us online at cleancomedyclinic.com, the world's first 24-hour clean comedy channel. Y'all got your tickets, didn't you? Some of y'all waited till the last minute, but you got them. I hope you don't wait that long to go to heaven. <laughs> God loves you, so do I. Me and my husband, we have a blended family. We have five children and stuff. And uh, pray for me. Um, it's one in the middle that make me feel like prison might not be that bad. Do you understand me? Now, I'm a nurse by trade in my other life. That's what I do. I'm a nurse. I don't need nobody choking or nothing now because I ain't clocked in. But every time you talk to her, she act like she's short of breath. I said, did you clean your room? <sighs> I said, did you do your homework? <sighs> I said, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take you to the doctor on Monday. If the doctor does not tell me you have asthma, I'm going to snatch your throat out so I can see every word to try to come up out your mouth. And then she's so disrespectful, family. She used letters instead of words. I asked her a question. She said, IDK. Do y'all know what that means? I don't know. Uh-huh. She asked me, could she go somewhere? I said, absolutely not. She said, S-M-H. That means shaking my head. The other children over there interpreting like she's speaking in tongues. You understand me? <laughs> then she said some real jazz. I said, what did you say? She said, J-K. They was like, mama, that means just kid. And I said, okay. I said, you know what, little light-skinned little girl? The next time you talk to me using letters instead of words, when them people come in here and find you, you're going to be D-O-A. What does that mean? Yeah. Then the other kids look at me like, oh, that ain't no approved abbreviation. You know what I'm saying? So I told my husband, I said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get all these jokes. We're going to take them to church, and we're going to give them back to the Lord, because that's what my parents did to me. They gave me back at least 72 times. You understand me? Now, I told y'all, my mom passed away. My mom was a minister. My dad is a pastor. Family, I didn't realize it was that many single women in church after my mom passed away. Do you hear me? Oh, uh, uh, it was one lady in particular. She should have had theme music when she talked. Um, you know what I'm saying? She come through and she's so dramatic. And when she walk, it should be like a band playing or something. See, we from the country, so we walk regular, one foot in front of the other. Not her, honey. When she walk, everything moves. She be getting it. You know what I'm saying? My boys say, Mama, that woman thicker than grits. <laughs> now, me and I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> My boys watch her all service. My husband do too, but he don't think I see him. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Man, your woman see what you don't see before you see it to see if you're going to look at what she just saw. You understand me? Yeah. Uh-huh. So she was coming down the aisle. We call her Miss Lucy, for lack of better words. So she was going down the aisle, wrote a little note, gave it to the usher. I said, run, get that to my husband before Miss Lucy get down there. Now, he looked at the notes, y'all. He was just grinning because he know my hand right, right? <laughs> I gave him a scripture because we was in church, you know. Act like you got some sense. He opened up the note, and all it said was, you better look towards the hills from which cometh your help. Now, he didn't know why I said this, but by this time, she was walking down the aisle. And at his peripheral, he seen her, right? So he looked, and immediately he looked straight up in the air. <laughs> Don't play. If you really grew up in church, you know one thing about church back in the day. You was there all day long. I'm telling you, I used to go to church so much, I used to get mad with my mama because I couldn't understand why I got to go. I know what they're going to do. They did it last Sunday. 
But church back then was just amazing. But my mama, listen, my mama was a good old church woman. She was over everything in church. I'm talking about she was over the Sunday school, the usher boy, the junior usher boy, the senior choir, the youth choir. My mama was over, but my mama was a cussing woman. She was the kind of mama that no matter where you act a fool, she act one with you. My mama was in the choir. She could see you in the back act a fool. I will trust. Come on, help me. In. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to trust thee in the Lord. How long? Until I die. <laughs> I'm looking at my mama like, huh? No. Let pastor know what you just said. My mama was a mess. And my mama, my mama loved the Lord, but my mama didn't play with us. We let children get away with anything today, right? Like my mama had, my mama had product control in our house. You wasn't going to build no meth lab in my mama basement. My mama would have been like, is that my Ajax I smell? My mama didn't play. These mamas today, you know they punk mamas. They done took all the creativity out of the children. Remember back in the day, we didn't have all this stuff, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and what is a we? We went outside and made up our own games, didn't we? When the last time you had to bring your car to a screeching halt because somebody was froze from freeze tag? Kids ain't created no more. What about this one? One, two, three, four. And you know what? We used to play hide-go-seek. And if you was fast, you played hide-go-get-it. <laughs> but it taught you stuff. It taught you how to count. You was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 50 you know you learned how to count playing hide-go-seek. <laughs> we had creativity as kids. We had creativity. We used to listen to commercials. We didn't have no housewives. Ain't nobody married. We had commercials. Y'all remember commercials that used to teach you stuff? Remember this one? My Blonie has a first name. It's O. See, that's a good kid right there. My, you sing my Blonie. What? What? Baptist cry right here. Oh. Hey, what's up, family? It's your boy, Willie Brown, coming back to you again from Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live, and you can tell that I'm excited. That's right, I'm excited because we've been getting letters and calls about our television show. People are watching Gospel Comedy Live all over the world. So we want you to continue to support what we're doing, this ministry to bring clean and wholesome family comedy to you and your family. That's right, and you can do it by simply booking some of our comedians for your events. That's right, bring our comedians to your church to your leadership conference, to your gospel festival. You can book our tour, or you can purchase some of our merchandise. We got a brand new t-shirt, Gospel Comedy Live, all right? Comes in all different sizes. Make sure you get one of these, okay? Also, you can get our new DVD. Oh yeah, that's right, we have a DVD for every episode that we've shot. And this DVD will show our show in its entirety. That's right, you only are able to watch a certain amount on television because we're due, due to time restrictions. But on our DVD, you can watch the whole entire show, even portions that were cut out. So make sure you go to the site, get a t-shirt, get a DVD, order some other memorabilia, you know, support our ministry. Or you can just simply click on the donation button. Go to cleancomedyclinic.com and press donate, okay? That's right, we can't stay on the air unless you help us. Or you can send us a letter 
or donation to P.O. Box 998, McDonough, Georgia, 30253. That's right, that's the Clean Comedy Clinic. P.O. Box 998, McDonough, Georgia, 30253. I love sisterhood, true sisterhood, where everybody don't look the same. You girls got your back. You know what I'm saying? Let me hear it for the sisters. Amen. That's right. That's probably why I go to a church that don't look all the same. It looks like what heaven's going to look like. Every shade of dirt is represented at my church. <laughs> just a big old sandbox. We just playing. So are. Uh, but I think if we're going to worship together in unity, which is important to me, we got to have some rules. Okay? We just can't be all in here freestyling. Okay? <laughs> And that's why, as a leader in my church, I take our white women aside and new members, and I let them know, you don't praise break. Because you don't know how. You will have everybody from the medic team down here thinking you're having a seizure, baby. Because there ain't nothing more beautiful in church than seeing a black woman in a full-out praise break. It's gorgeous. Amen? Worshiping the Lord with that kind of freedom? Are you kidding me? It's beautiful, and I love it. I mean, if I start to see it even assimilate, I, I can't even worship. I'm like, gorgeous it's gorgeous and, and you know it's kind of subtle at first it kind of catches people off guard like if you don't know what you're looking for it'll catch you off guard. hey you won't even know it happened it's so subtle hey, hey. But I'm trained, so I know what to look for. Because that is the call that gets sent out. And then there's going to be about five more women come. And we're going to get a circle. And we're going to surround the sister as she celebrates the Lord with a dance. And it will be white women. It will be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Because we don't get that. As white women, we do not get that. You know what we get? We have one move, and it's this. You're allowed to pat this hip. <laughs> You're allowed to close your eyes and move this hip. <laughs> That's it. And if you're experienced, you can, if you're experienced, you've probably been to a Pentecostal church and you can actually lift your heel and do double time. <laughs> but you better know what you're doing because you heard everybody gonna go rogue. It's all wood. Let's go! Willie Brown <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Rufus. Get your praise on, get your praise on, everybody give a soul clap. Get your praise on, get your praise on, gospel comedy is where is that? Get your praise on, get your praise on, everybody give a soul clap. <laughs> Would you rather make your own way or spend your life saying, what if? Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. To find out more, call 1-800-424-8580 or go to peacecorps.gov.
actor Christopher Lee has died at the age of 93. Known for portraying horror film villains and his appearances in the blockbusters Star Wars and Lord of the Rings series, Lee died June 7th in a hospital where he had been undergoing treatment for respiratory problems. The London-born performer took up acting on the suggestion of a cousin after serving in the Royal Air Force in World War II. With his deep voice and six-foot-four-inch frame, Lee was the last English-language horror movie star in the silent era. He won new generations of fans after the turn of the century and some of the biggest money makers in film history. He played the evil Count Dooku in Star Wars Episode 2 and 3 and portrayed the power-hungry wizard in the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogy. Lee's agent, in the emailed statement, said his family wishes to make no comment. Ask 212 men to volunteer for a prostate exam. These are the only ones that said yes. When it comes to cancer, conversations need to be had. That's the message Samuel L. Jackson is pushing as he hosts his annual charity gala, one for the boys, in the aid of raising now cancer awareness. The same with Amos arriving in London to come down town for the event. Yeah, you can become very inspired by what people like that do, and they seem to be able to do things that maybe politicians can't do or for whatever reasons yeah sometimes you get somebody like Sam who can have as much impact as a senator or a duke over here the gala focuses on fashion as men's fashion week kicks off in London.